How's it going guys? Bluebird Gamer here. This is archived stream footage. If you want to see me live, go to twitch.tv forward slash Bluebird Gamer. No more underscore. We're moving up in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Highlights are out there. My schedule is out there. Most of my archived stuff, if not all of it, goes on my YouTube channel. So even if you can't show up live, you can still see it there. But I'd love to see you guys there live because then you can, you can interact with me in the chat and we can just have some fun. Until then, on with the show. How's it going, guys? Bluebird Gamer here. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little tired right now. I had my first crazy day of school yesterday, which was it was basically, basically all day, but that's besides the point. So I'm a little tired, but don't let that deceive you. I am very excited to play this game again. I am very, very excited. If we take a look at this war we are still in, we are actually winning, but we are getting crushed by old Alfred here. Which means, yeah, we're not we're not doing super hot. More blood for the blood god. <laughs> it's good to see you, gaming suit. I'm gl I hope you're doing all right tonight. Uh, I'm trying to refresh myself with what we need to do here. Uh, we could call some allies to war. But, the allies that could be... Who's this? Oh, uh, who's this? He only has 28 troops. I'm not calling him to this war. This person has 104 troops. I'm not spending 75 of my precious prestige. That's almost 10% of my prestige. For about 100 troops. That is awful. I don't know who this is. This is my half-brother. Could I get an alliance? Let's see. The uh, the county... That's 1,100 troops. I want an alliance, please. I need help in this war. <laughs> I need any hope I can get in this war. Alfred is annihilating us. We should easily be able to do this. We have so many troops. We have so much troop potential. But we're just getting wrecked. One day live stream build battle in high pixel. Yeah, I've I've definitely considered it. It's just that my skit there are a bunch of games I want to play, and I already make Minecraft videos on their own. So I like to try to get a little bit of diversity with what I stream. Because I play Minecraft all the time for quarantine SMP. I play Minecraft on my own anyway. This allows me to this gives me the opportunity to play other games in a more dedicated sense. Um What was I gonna say? Um but yeah, I've, I've definitely considered it. Build battle would be a lot of fun. Alright, so we do have... We are now allied with him, although I don't know if we can... I don't know if we can call him into call him into fighting. Uh, we are trying to do the monthly reinforcement. It's going to take us 10 months to reach our full strength, apparently. Which is unfortunate. I don't know where they're getting that number either. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we have nine months left on our mercenaries we hired. This is, and we also have a potential peasant revolt happening. So we'll have to put that down. So that's just lovely. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. There's just eight troops marching around in my territory. <laughs> Hmm. The problem is if that army comes over here, they'll absolutely crush me. So what I think we have to do is we have to try to go siege some land and make them leave that area. Let me see. Oh, what's this? To the loathsome Har Jarl Hafton. We have been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. No more! We are done paying you taxes. Once your coffers dry up and your larders are empty, you will wish you had treated us more fairly. Oh my gosh, my control level would change by negative 75. Oh my gosh, okay. Alright, well. We now have a peasant uprising. Let's go crush them. Nice and quick-like. Yeah, they're already running. Because they can't beat us. They're just lousy. And we can't, we, we could call allies to our peasant uprising. Oh, 
And it's completely free, so we may as well. We don't have to worry about our prestige. We can just get people over here to help us out. Although, realistically, we are probably going to win this easily anyway. Just finished constructing stuff. We have our allies coming to help us in the peasant uprising. Thank you very much. I'm probably going to put it down before then anyway. We are going to absolutely annihilate these guys. Yeah, we completely crushed them. Now we just have to put these guys down. Oh, we are paused. That's why. My prisoner died. That's fine. Yeah, our contract. Yep, and there we go. Instantly put it down. Locals pacified. I get popular opinion up plus 50 for 25 years. That is very nice. Now, I do have... That means I have prisoners. Mercenary contract expiring. Yeah, I knew that already. Uh, let's go look at our prisoners. It's the court tab, I'm pretty sure. Here we are. Uh, it's him. I could ransom him. But the only thing I can do is get a weak hook on him. So we are not going to do that. Hmm... I don't know what we could do. Are any of these people worth any money? Let, let, okay, we have a few people that I could theoretically ransom, but I'm gonna hold off for now because money is not a problem for us. We need to, we need to sit here, we need to, reg we, we need to regain our strength. If I were to take a, Okay, well, hostile armies are around. I cannot disband. That's fair. Let's send let's send these guys marching, and let's see if we can distract them. Although, they're about to win that siege anyway, so I'm not sure that would really be a distraction. Yep, here they come. They are coming straight for us. Hang on, so let's take a look at this. We do have some stronger garrison. The problem is Alfred is insanely talented at what he does. So we have ourselves commanding at 26 commander strength, and I don't think we can do any better. So I don't know how we're going to win this fight, because they do outnumber us more than 2 to 1. Let's click this. Yeah, we're the best commander we can get, so I don't know, because I'm imagining they're going to march for us now. Yeah, here they come. We, I will lose decisively. Which is bad, because this is our capital. We can't have them sieging our capital. We're getting absolutely crushed. I don't know what we're supposed to do against Alfred here. Can we kidnap him or something? I mean, we can't even kidnap him. The best we can do is try to kill him with a 5% chance. So I don't know how we're supposed to win this conflict. Because he absolutely crushes us. He's sieging our capital now. We just lost 600 men. And they're not, they're, they're not even going to go fighting. They're just going to try to chase us down. Go up there. Yeah, look, they're just chasing us. I don't know how we're supposed to win this. We could march them. We could march around for a little bit, I guess. I don't quite see what we're supposed to do here. We're literally just running around. Exhausting their supply, I think. We could exhaust their supply, and that could theoretically be good for us. <laughs> I'm literally just running around. No. Keep going for there. Then go to Leeds. Oh, and our contract just ended with the mercenaries. So we're down to 600 troops. I don't quite know what we're supposed to do here. Let's, um... She would not accept this. Why not? 
She won't accept a white piece? That's pretty rude. Yeah, I'm getting absolutely annihilated here. This is... This is bad. Luckily, they're, um... They are running low on supply. Because of how large their army is. The problem is, they are so powerful, it doesn't really matter. So let's go get our perk. Is there anything here that can help us? Uh... Let's see... I mean, we need to start perking and going into this perk, perhaps? Yeah, it's having us... It's, ha it's telling us we need to buy mercenaries, but I had mercenaries, and they were basically instantly killed. And that was all my money, so now I can't buy anymore. Am I able to take a look at what their army has? They have very few men-at-arms, even. The problem is I can't really raise my men-at-arms, because they'll just get killed. Well, how, how about... Let's regroup our army here. Because we just picked up a lot of people. Uh, we have someone who's actually a physician. Do we already have a physician? We do, and he's basically the same, so I'm not going to spend money on a new physician. That'd be really dumb. Merge these armies. We now have a strength of 1702, excuse me. And we have, we actually have some decent men at arms. The problem is, we'll still get annihilated by this guy because it's Alfred we're talking about and he's basically unstoppable. I don't really know what we do here, and now we're not even making that much money either. Let's go this way. Try to stay away from Alfred's armies. How about this? Let's go march on... Let's march on this city, and they'll be forced to follow us. Here they go. Here they come. Although this could be a very bad idea. And I'm sure it is a very bad idea. Yep, here they come. Oh, they're fighting my ally <laughs> with 187 troops. And they get, they're getting absolutely steamrolled as well. I'm just trying to drain their supply. That's about all I can do at this point. See, they are very undersupplied. And these guys are decently well supplied. But I, they're going to be forced to leave my lands eventually. Just because they're going to run out of supply. So ideally, we could just drain them of all their supply. That's the goal at least. I will probably lose. What the heck? Where'd they get an extra thousand troops from? Where did these guys come from? I don't understand. On the bright side, we did do a lot of casualties. Take or we did. We did take a lot of casualties. Oh. We still took 700 casualties. I, I don't quite understand how I'm supposed to win this war, honestly. Well, at least the war's over. 300, and I'm in debt. So, that's great. That's going to completely destroy me. Hang on. Disband our army. I know, I yeah, I know we're in debt. That's going to start messing us up, and there's nothing I can do about it. Because it's going to take us... It's going to take us about 20 months to get out of debt. It's going to take slightly more than, tw than 20 months. But the longer you are in debt, the more stuff starts going wrong. So this is going to absolutely destroy us. Um, What's my council doing? Yeah, you... Is there anyone who would be better stewardship? 
No one who would make sense to have in this position. You're basically the best guy I can have, which is kind of sad. Because it's still not that good. Uh, What in the world can I do here? We're just... Yeah, things, things are not going well for us. Hmm. Let's see. Let's try, let's start raising our control in these counties again, at the very least, because that'll help out with our taxes. There we go. We have another heir. Or we have another granddaughter, I should say. She's def she definitely wouldn't be an heir. That's not how uh, societies worked back in the day. Man, that uh, that did not go well. I don't understand what we're supposed to do against Alfred there. That That's unfortunate. I don't even know why he was involved in that war. They don't even have that many troops. Why, is Al why did Alfred get involved? He doesn't even have an alliance with him. I don't understand why I was at war with him. <laughs> why was I at war with him? I shouldn't have been. I, I don't understand. Let's see. Uh, oh, we can ransom prisoners. Let's ransom some prisoners, and that'll help us get out of debt. That, that'll really help us get out of debt. Now, do I have any other prisoners I can ransom? Sh she would be able to help me out with that, but... I do not have the money at the moment. Or he, they don't have the money to pay me. Hmm. Well, good grief. I don't quite know what to do here. <laughs> that went that went absolutely awfully. And what is this war? Oh yeah, sorry, dude. I'm not I'm not helping you with that. I, I there's no way I'm getting over there. Although we are about to be out of debt again. Start the search for another physician. Yes, yeah, see, now we're going to be getting control growth minus because we're in debt. Because that, that, that gives us corruption. Okay, he, he, he finished the county in con control increase. That did not take long. Do this county now. Yeah, do that county now. It's not going to take very long, but I do want our control to be as high as it can be. So that we don't have to worry about that again. No one is really that good there. We need to regroup our armies. And Okay, we're out of debt now. Yes! We need to get our men back as well. Because, oh my gosh, we got annihilated. I could declare wars on you. Why, why would I want to do that? You're actually really strong. Everyone else is a stronger army than me, though. If we look at Mercia, Mercia doesn't have any alliances, but they're they have a lot of troops. We gained some stress because our mom died. That's not a big deal. <laughs> That's not a big deal. Hang on. Uh, let's. What? Why is this? Ah. Well, that's not gonna work. You always want to try to do the soulmate scheme if you can, because it gets you seven hundred fifty prestige at least, as far as I can remember, and it's very good. <laughs> It's very, very good. Uh, but unfortunately, our traits do not line up. Let's see... What about you? Zero percent as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's, that's not good. I just wanted the prestige. That's all I wanted. <laughs> you jerks. <laughs> I just want prestige. Let's take a look at the kingdom map, because... If anything, I'm pr I would probably be working to form England. But at the moment, we cannot do that. Hey, <laughs> they're getting raided. <laughs> Get wrecked, suckers. We lost there. That's fine. Does not matter to me. We can negotiate alliances now. I do want an alliance with Ivar the Boneless. Let's take a look. This is Northumbria. I can make an alliance with this guy. 
who is my brother. The problem is... He controls... Wait a second. Oh, those alliances are kind of annoying. Hmm. They're allied through marriage, so I would have to deal with these guys if I declared war on Northumbria. The thing is, their troop count is so low, I could. So why am I not doing that? I could go to war with East Anglia. I don't think I could actually fight them yet, or maybe not, I don't know. Uh, where are all these places I could declare war on? These guys? They have a truce. Oh! Well, yeah, why don't I declare war on them? My my troops aren't even that are, are my troops aren't even that heavily raised, and we're still stronger than them. So we'll move our rally point, and we'll def we'll wait for our armies to build back up a little more, and then we will definitely do it. Uh oh, he's instantly calling me into a war with Alba and this guy. Okay, so it's a war in Ireland. Oh, they have a lot of troops. Um, I will accept, but I will not do anything for now. I need to build up my troops a bit more. If they if they come fighting me, then I will definitely raise my troops and help out with that. Ah! Who is this? Why do I have an alliance with him? He's so weak. This could be a mistake. He's Norse. Yeah, Catholic. So this could... This could mess me up. This could very much mess me up. I don't want an alliance with this guy anymore. He is absolutely pathetic. Can I break off the alliance? I cannot break off the alliance. <laughs> this is... This could be very bad. Yeah, West Francia is in this war now. Uh, West Francia. Who, where's the ruler of West Francia? 5,000 troops. Yeah, um... Not good. There we go. Um, we're just gonna have to hold off for now. I'm being raided! No, I'm not. They're, 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 just, they're just walking through my lands. Uh, yeah, search for a physician. We're letting our armies... We're, our armies are not really building, are they? Why are they not... Why are our armies not building? Hmm. His army is apparently stronger than me now? Is that what it is? Yeah, apparently he's a stronger army than me all of a sudden. Well, where did all these troops come from? His army is stronger than me. I don't... I don't know where these guys are getting all their men from. It seems like they're just popping out of thin air. There we go. Uh... Neither of them... They're, neither of them are worth being my physician. I do want to... Look at my children here. Yeah, she's going for a stewardship education. She's already at... She already has five stewardship. Whoa! Supply limit and development growth. Ah! Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's one of my main provinces. Wh why, why would you do this, steward? We need a better steward. He's absolutely awful. So I, I don't know what to do about it, honestly. Um, that is one of our new ch newer children. Uh, let's just give her, I don't know, uh, stewardship focus. We need some stewardship children. Okay, let's see what we can do here. In the heat of combat, decisiveness is often what separates victory from defeat. When the time comes, I know how I will act. So we could just straight up take aggressive attacker, which means enemy fatal casualties are at 25%. We could take I unyielding defender, which is, if it will let me see... Friendly Fatal Casualties minus 25%, but we do gain a little bit of stress. 
And then we, we could also get a flexible leader, which is enemy defensive advantage minus 50%. Ooh. Aggressive attacker's pretty nice. I think I'll have to do that. Oh, and who's this? This is my daughter. Uh, I've been, I've been obliged to attend a local jousting tournament. This Is this a Civ 6 but medieval ages? First off, hi waifu killer. I hope you're doing alright today. Second, not exactly. Uh, are you familiar with games like Victoria 2, Hearts of Iron 4, Europa Universalis, anything like that? Uh, no, okay. Hmm. How do I describe this then? I can, I, I can understand why it looks a lot like Civ. This is... This is actually a, this is a much more in-depth game. It's, it's, it, there's a lot more complexities to it. Um, I'm trying to think of how to describe it. I haven't seen Game of Thrones. It's just it wasn't really the show for me. I didn't enjoy, I wasn't interested in watching it. But from people who I have watched, they have made a Game of Thrones comparison in the sense that it's very much medieval politics, intrigue, wars, things like that. So. It may be a little easier to understand as I keep going here. I'm, 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 and I'll see if I can find a better way of explaining it. But, um, yeah, it, it is basically medieval times. And I, for example, am a Norse lord over here in England. It's, what, what year is it again? 874. So it's, you know, pretty early. Relatively to where we are now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is, this is Europe. We got Africa and Asia here. We're just trying to, we're just trying to be a very powerful, we're, we're trying to be a very powerful kingdom, you know, tr trying to have our family rule the world and whatnot. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out what this is. As Jarl, I've been obliged to attend a local jousting tournament, but the contestants have been delayed. The tourney won't start for at least another hour. Looking around, I notice my daughter, Saga, sitting under a nearby pavilion, clearly bored halfway to death. On the other hand, this could be a good opportunity to eavesdrop on the conversations of other attendees. So she could become my best friend, which I don't know what that means. I discover a random secret from inside the realm, which isn't useful to me. Or I could lose 11 stress. I'll take a best friend. I don't know what that will do for me, but it that, none of the other ones seem really... None of the other ones seem remotely interesting. So here's an interesting way of, describe, of explaining this game. Kind of like Civ, you have your own t territory and there are the other people's territory. And there's things like that. But... It's not, you're not you're not you're not really building cities so much. It's more of developing ones that you have. You can build, you can kind of build new cities, but it's the cities don't necessarily function the same like in Civ. The focus is much more on empire wide as opposed to individual city management. Um, you are while you're playing this game, you're con you basically have one main character that you are controlling his actions, and then ev you also can impact everyone else around you with how you act. So. For example, my character, I've been focusing him, or he, his best trait, if you, the numbers may not be easy to read. Yeah, there is a stress thingy, agreed, yeah. You're, because stress can be caused by, actually, let me explain it this way. My character has a certain set of character traits, so for example, he is callous, he is wrathful, he is ambitious. So, depend, that actually defines the way your character is, the, the way your character behaves, uh, to move this way, behaves. So if you do actions that do not line up with the way that your character would normally behave on their own, then you gain what's called stress. And if you have too much stress, you start getting negative, you start getting negative perks, and you can even die of stress. So it's a way, the stress system is just a way of trying to encourage you to play a certain way. So each character can play a different way, depending on how their perks are. For example, my heir. So the person I'll be playing as after my current king dies. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. So accurate to real life. So my heir is going is oh no, he's paranoid. I'll explain why that's bad, bad in a second. Uh, he's brave and he's honest, which are both awesome perks. But he's paranoid, which is absolutely awful. And here is why. You um, I'm trying to think of how I explain this. Essentially, the best way for me explaining this is if, if your wife ever gets pregnant while you are the king and you are paranoid, you will con- you basically- several decisions will come up during the game that normally wouldn't that can cause you to have negative relationship impact with other people because you just don't trust them. So you- your character will be more inclined to do things that people around you don't like because, like I said, you just don't trust them. So that is a pretty awful perk. 
Um, and our error is nothing special. His perks aren't exactly that awesome or anything. I would see what he is going down in terms of his tree. He's most likely doing uh, Marshall. He may be doing Stewardship because he does have a Stewardship focus, but his Stewardship is so bad that it's it, it's kind of offset. It's really a shame. Um, but my character is gearing towards a more of a military aspect. So I currently have him on... I, I, I've given him all these military perks, so... For example, I've unlocked ones down at this tree, and it basically it gives him some extra skills, and your your counties grow a little bit faster. So you can go, depending on what your character chooses to focus on, you have all these different ways you can customize your character. But because of his, I guess, his education that he had when he was younger, he just, he, he will learn things in this little red tree faster. So I just have been doing that because I want him to have the most stuff he can. So I'm going to give him this perk now. So whenever he is commanding an army, which I have him doing at the moment because he is my best commander, um, I take 20% fewer friendly fa fewer uh, 20 percent fewer friendly fatal casualties. So my allies around, with me around, will take 20% fewer casualties, and it also gives me a bit of a stronger commander advantage, which just means I'll be able to do more damage, essentially. I unfortunately cannot nuke people. Nukes will not be invented for another 1,100 years, about. It'd be more along the lines of, I don't know, 1040 or something. We have, it, it, it's unfortunately quite a ways away. Uh, let's, yeah, we're going to definitely go for that perk. Um, so what we have to th consider now is, do we want to fight someone? Because the game started us off in a war, but it put us against... This guy here, which, as you can see, our stats are, they range from poor, so we have one average, and one excellent, which means that we are, we're really good at one thing, not very good at other things, and so my stats are around, you know, 5, 8, 9, 5, and then a 21. This guy is a character you can play at the start, you can choose to play it, kind of, his storyline. His stats, 21, 26, 20, 18, and 5. Now, the 5 isn't that big of a deal, obviously, but... He is absolutely insane. <laughs> and it's... You do... It's it's just... The game started me against him, so... I was favored to win the war, but because he got involved somehow, I could not do anything about it. So at the moment, I am trying to recover some... My, my army got beat up really badly by him, so I'm trying to recover my troops so that I can go fight someone. So for example, I could fight East Anglia... Which, it'd be nice to have some land down there. Uh, we are being raided, apparently, so I'm gonna have to raise some troops for that. Uh, let's... Let's put the rally point here. And we'll raise up our troops so that we can go stomp him. So we don't want them to raid us. They take our money, the lower development, things like that. It's pretty nasty. We lost the war that we were helping someone else in, but si since it wasn't our war to be t to take part in, it does not matter to us. And also, he was an aw a terrible alliance, so I'm glad I don't have to worry about him anymore. I know that sounds awful, but it's nice. It, it really is nice. There we go. We absolutely crushed the raiders. We got some prestige for it. I'm just glad they're, they're leaving now. So we can put these guys back. Hostile armies are still around, apparently, even though they're not. There we go. Let's disband our army again. Because while our army is raised... Oh, I did it again. Uh, Stop it. Stop it. I'm just trying to move the rally point. While our armies are raised, it is extremely expensive to raise them. and Or it's extremely expensive to keep them raised. So I've been trying not to do that. Uh, the raiders took the L. Yes, they did. I actually do have a, I actually have a decently strong army. So, I would be able to fight these people pretty reliably. The, pr the one problem is, at this point, I got beat up by Alfred so bad that I'm going to have to wait a long time before I can do anything, which really is a shame. What's this about? Uh, greetings, my impressive liege. I have come to discover a most appalling truth about Mayor Frederick. Though I loathe bringing his matter to your attention, I must inform you that this man is keeping secrets of the most alarming kind from you. Who is Mayor Frederick? Oh, he's my marshal. Ugh. Well. 
I do feel like I need to know the secret because I don't want my marshal to be upset with me because you want your major, you want your really strong vassals to be, you want them to like you. But I do feel like I need to know the secret. I'd rather actually have the opinion. I'd rather them to like me more. So we're going to hold off. So we could fight this guy. He's adjacent to us. Their army is... Their army has some strength, but they have no alliances, and my army currently is already stronger than theirs. So I could potentially declare war on them. I'm just letting my armies gain a little bit more strength. And also, we don't have a lot of money, so I want to hold off for now before raising my armies again. I could get a guardian for my daughter. What am I, what am I teaching her? I'm teaching her stewardship. Let's find the person with the best stewardship in the land, which is my wife, apparently. Which, in that, that stewardship still isn't even that good. 11 is average, at best. 11 is average. But unfortunately, we have no one better. And these wars are going, this war is going insane up here, might I point out. We could search for another physician, you may as well. And we're not going to call a hunt, call a hunter host a feast, because our stress isn't that high. And you do, you would normally call those to lose some stress because you do not want to have stress if you can at all help it. But my stress is so low that I don't want to spend the gold to do it because that would take pretty much all my money. And money is very important to have in this game. Neither of them are even a physician, so I'm not going to spend the money to recruit them. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I, I am still technically stronger than them. Uh, I can't invade the kingdom. I could... I could go after this county, this one right here. And that would expand my land, which would be great. I would love that. Uh, for all the authority I supposedly wield is Jarl, I cannot be everywhere in my realm at once. There will always be those who forget to obey my orders once my attention is turned elsewhere. This is where my son could come in. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. Who has been faithfully enforcing my decrees while touring the countryside. Could he serve as my right-hand man and take a more active role in administering my realm? So what does he do? I spend more time with my son, which I probably should have been anyway. You gain has right hand, which actually upgrades my control growth a little bit, which would be nice. That's basically just how, do, how, how, how well, I guess, hence the name, how in control are your, are your counties. If they don't have a lot of control, that basically means it's pretty lawless there. They won't, they won't collect taxes for you. They won't be able to raise troops for you or anything. My marshal would like me a little better otherwise. I would like... I don't think this right hand thing is even a temporary thing. So... I would like that extra control growth. That's very nice. I will take that. Yeah, and their army is sitting at about 1,200. I can ransom someone apparently. They finally have the money for it. Yes, please. I'd love some money. I want to convert to Catholicism, if I can all help it. Because everywhere around me is Catholic. And I don't want to be Catholic. I want, I want to convert to Catholicism, but I don't know how to yet. I have not played this game long enough to know how to do that. I also would love to convert my culture. I, I would love to be a part of uh, the Anglo-Saxon culture. Because arguably they are... They have some things that I would want to have myself. And yeah, they, they, have, they have some pretty good things here. They do have Cavalkind. They do have currency. Oh, we, although we have currency as well. They have things like ledger, which would which would give us extra domain limit. That that just means you can hold more stuff, which I would love to be able to hold more stuff, because I currently own everything that's here. I'm going to have to give this away to somebody, because I just cannot. I'm, I'm not going to be able to hold it myself. I already am holding three out of three, so I'm going to have to give this away to someone, and I don't know who that's going to be yet. Hmm. Our army is growing very slowly. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Oh, I'm being invited to a feast. That could help get rid of my stress. I would love to go to the feast. I can negotiate an alliance with him. Well, yeah, we'll we'll get we'll take the alliance. It'd be nice to have more troops. 
All right, let's see what happens in this feast. Hopefully no one kills us. Yay, I have an alliance with a really strong dude. It's uh, this guy over here, I believe. A thousand troops, that's a really good alliance. Feast, words of war. What right does Ragnar think he has to claim that my ideas of warfare are misguided? Claiming that my ideas would break down the moment combat is met. What does he know, really? So, I have gained discussions on strategy for a little bit, which makes my martial better, which is just my fighting skill, essentially. He does lose some opinion of me, but that's fine. He already really likes me anyway, so that's not a huge deal. Speaking of which, how does my court like me? They are all in the positives, which is awesome. There we go. Uh, let's do... what? Ah, what kind of meat is this? So rich in flavor. What are these vegetables? Almost sweet. Oh, and these wonderful little desserts. This feast has some of the best food I've ever tasted. I gained life reaffirmed for five years. <laughs> wow, that's that's insanely good. I get, s I don't get prestige, I don't think, but he does. The guy who's hosting this. I lose some stress and I gain less stress for five years. So something I haven't been doing is I haven't been doing any schemes, which I really should be. For example, I actually would want to make our, let me see. I wish that, I want to get her to like us more because she is, she is in charge of kind of our religious affairs here. So if we don't, if she doesn't like us, then we won't get any levies and taxes from any of her, her specific holdings. So it's all, it's really important that she likes us. What a feast! I will remember the days spent in Jarl Dyer's halls for a long time to come. Now it is time to wash off the traces of merriment and wine, and once more resume my duties as a lord of the realm. I lose more stress even though I don't have any. And he gains 15 opinion of me for a little while, so that's cool. Uh, call hunt and host feast, I'm not going to do that. I could declare war on Elba, I don't want to though because it's all the way up there. I do kind of want to go after this guy. He has absolutely no allies. So I, I could very easily could go after him. And I and he, do he, he does have 300 bowmen. Which would be nasty to go up against. But... Yeah, we only have 100 bowmen, but we do have armored footmen. Hmm. And we have special soldiers. Which are just kind of Viking guys, I think. Hmm. I would prefer to have my troops gain in strength a little bit more, but it doesn't seem like they are. They're at 1291 right now. Let's watch over the tick at the end of the month. I should go up 42. They're not going up. I, I don't know why they're not going up. My levies just aren't getting any stronger. And I'm confused as to why that is. My, 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 my troops just are not growing. I don't understand why. Something is very wrong. But here's the thing. This guy has no allies. So even if we maybe had a slight disadvantage against his army... With the bowmen, our army is stronger. We could also call in allies to whoop his butt. So I would like to try this. I want your stuff. It only costs me 150 prestige. His army is inferior. Vastly inferior, because we do have allies we could call in. It takes that into consideration. Hmm. Do we upgrade our... Do we upgrade our men-at-arms? I don't... The thing is, that means... Although we are getting... We are... Our money is really good right now. We, we could we could afford to increase them if we wanted to. But the question is, what would we do? What counters archers? Light horsemen counters archers. 
I think we get some horsemen. The problem is we want to wait now for... We want to wait for these guys to build in strength a little bit. And we get ten a month, so that's fine. That will cost a little bit more maintenance, but it'll really help out against his archers. Which means we could probably actually conquer some land this episode. So, I, I, I'm I afraid I don't understand waifu killer, right? I, I don't understand, I'm sorry. Oh, what happened? Our alliance expired with this guy. Uh this is gonna make me sound really dumb, but is that a reference that I don't get? <laughs> I, I don't I don't understand. That may just be a word that I should know and I don't. The deserters. Look at oh look at my map. There is Oh <laughs> Oh I see now. These guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing over here. That is a weird name. I'm leading a patrol and we spot a group of figures emerging from the darkness of night. Hooded cloaks obscure their faces, but by one's but by one's ungainly gait, I recognize Ale, my courtier. My lord, whispers one of my men. They are deserting. What should we do? Apprehend them immediately. A martial challenge, which my martial is way better than his is. Uh. No, we're apprehending them. We are apprehending them for sure. Both of these people are not better than the one I have now, so we're gonna wait. Let's see what happens. After a short scuffle, the deserting soldiers are apprehended. There we go. Every soldier present, both loyal and not, know that punishment for this kind of betrayal can be harsh. The air is thick with anticipation and fear. My lord, El meets me eats, meets my gaze with tired eyes. They are only children. We just want to go home. Why do I care if my courtier dies? The, pr the price for betrayal must be paid. Execute them all. We would get a free martial lifestyle perk unlock, which would be nice. And some dread, which means people would be less likely to do stuff against me. We would lose two martial advantage for a, f for a few years. We c or we could do this to where we gain one mar We have an 80% chance of getting that perk. It, it, but there, it looks like there could be a downside. Uh, we're gonna take, I, we're gonna take the Dread and the Guaranteed Perk Unlock. They're gonna get executed. Sorry, dude. We have to enforce the law. The law is the law. No, we could get Number of Knights plus four. Oh my, that would be great. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go for that. Having an extra four Knights potential. They're just very powerful to have, so... 6 out of 10. The thing is, we don't really have any good people. Let's invite champions. It's gonna cost 150 prestige, unfortunately. But, I think we do it. We want to get some good knights. We don't really have the money to hire them, but we could get some good knights. And how are those horsemen looking? We already halfway we're, we're already halfway full on them. Uh, who is this chap? Fourteen prowess. That's pretty decent. How would you like to recruit to join my court? Fifteen gold for a fourteen prowess, dude. You know what? I will accept that. I do want another champion. Apparently, we now have ten out of ten, which I don't know how that happened. But we now have ten out of ten, so that's cool. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's, we have 10 minutes left. I would love to try to fight. Am I able to declare war on them? No, there is a truce. Although, I don't see a truce listed in here. Oh, I've signed a truce with them, yeah. Although, we could fight them in a year. And they are extremely weak right now. They are extremely weak. So yeah, how about this? When the truce expires, I'm gonna go declare war on her. She is not in good shape either. I'm gonna hold off on this guy. I could always go after him later. Yeah, we're gonna go after Northumbria. I have to reclaim my honor. 
after that atrocious war that happened. That was pretty bad. We have men at arms negotiation from five years. 25% less maintenance on men at arms. That's amazing since I just recruited some. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We need to get to 877 July so I can declare war on Northumbria. We just need to wait a little while here. Uh, we have a dude who has 14 prowess. Uh, I think I think we're already doing okay for our champions at the moment. Let's take a look. Let's do. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, we, it could be potentially better. I don't know why I'm looking at him. Uh, how much would you cost? 15 gold. Uh, yeah, okay. I would prefer some stronger knights. It is going to cost me a little bit of gold, but that's okay. And we just got another perk for the martial tree. Cast this bell I cost minus 50%. That that seems pretty nice. And I don't really need any of this stuff at the moment. I would love the gallant trait though. Extra martial, extra prowess, extra monthly prestige, and some attraction opinion, so I guess we'll go for that. We'll beeline towards that, because those end perks are so nice. Come on, let's get to July 8, 7-7. We just kind of need to sit here. Let's crank it up to 5 speed just to get there. Da 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 da. We're getting there. Uh, this guy's 19 prowess. He does cost significantly more, though. I'm willing to spend that cash. 19 prowess is phenomenal. There are a lot of wars we could declare war on. Oh! Oh, hang on. Hang on. What's going on here? Oh, I think my sister died or something because now she's no longer in charge, which means my truce has ended. I can go right after this guy. And their troops are so low. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing that, man. We're doing it. We are absolutely doing it. We're going to wreck these guys. A absolutely. But what, what do I want, though? What do I want in this war? Let's take a look at the map. That would basically give me the entire Duchy of Lancaster. Which I don't think I would want. And here's why. I would not be able to... Hmm. Because it'd be an equal title strength. So whenever... Whenever I die... My son would be, because we don't have a good inheritance inher inheritance law yet, my son would be inheriting the best, uh, Jarl, the best, in this case, Jarldom, which, which is the equivalent of a duchy. But then my next son would be inheriting this different duchy. So I would prefer not to be making these duchies if I can at all help it. Plus, other people have to manage it anyway, so I'm a little torn on what I want to do. Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to do that, because I do not have the prestige, and I also don't want to do that. Uh, we could conquer the county, which is very cheap. We could conquer this entire duchy for 500 piety, which we're not using anyway. And that's not even the entirety of Lancaster, so I may be able to get away with it. We could do that. I think we do. Although it is not... Oh, I can't because it's less than illustrious. Okay. Yeah, so I can only... Co I can only go for counties at the moment. I'm not... I'm not, I'm not popular enough to be able to go after duchies in, in their entirety. So we could either conquer this county, or we could... Oh, wait, that's it. That's my only... That's really my only option. Well, you know what? To war we go, ladies and gentlemen. I could call allies in. I'm going to hold off because the prestige drop is pretty hefty. Is there anyone that I can call in with very little prestige? No, everyone is... Everyone is extremely expensive in terms of prestige cost. 
Let's look. Yeah, currently they only have 26 soldiers. So, I think... I say we rush him. Let's raise my army. Nope. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, go for there. They're all walking off somewhere. I have a daughter. That's fine. Uh, neither of them are physicians, so we're going to ignore them. Okay. He has joined in this war. That's pretty bad. I didn't think they had an alliance. They do now. Which really stinks. Although that's their only alliance. So if we look at the troop count, we are technically outnumbered now. I think we I think for safety's sake we should call in one ally. We should call in one. The question is which one? Jarl Ivar is right here, so we could call him. He has two thousand troops. We could also call Bjorn Ironside here. He could be Yes, the war music is pretty great. Is it is it too loud or is it good, by the way, the war music? We could call him in, because he could distract the enemy over here. No? Okay, we're good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I say we call in Ironside, actually. Very triumphant. It is very triumphant, isn't it? We're going to call in Ironside so he can distract our, our the enemy that just joined the war over there. And that's, that's all we're going to try to do for now, in terms of calling in allies, because it's expensive to do. Yeah, and that definitely tips the, the the soldier count in our favor. So we're gonna sit here with our 1,500 troops. We're very well supplied. And we're gonna see what they can do against us. They're actually also being attacked by... some other people. Oh, they're being attacked by my other neighbor. <laughs> Man, Northumbria is just getting wrecked, isn't it? Stinks to be them. They're getting attacked here, attacked here. They're getting raided here. My gosh, yeah, we just need to wipe them out, don't we? We have another grandchild. Oh my goodness. We have garrison size and control growth up in that one place, which is nice. It's nice, but I don't want to distract from the war, so let's... The war music went away, which is kind of sad, because it was very nice music. But yeah, we are... We're absolutely demolishing Northumbria right now. And my ally has showed up, actually. Their ally has not so far. Okay, we have a new daughter. While this war is happening, I want to go in and assign her... Why does she not show up on the list? Oh, there they are. They're hidden. They're hidden from me. Of course they are. Let's just say... I don't know. Let's give you intrigue, focus. And I have so many children now, they overflow on the page. <laughs> Let's go... We'll make you diplomacy focus. Rise of the Scots! Though they share common origins with the other Anglo-Saxons, the clans living in northern Britain's lowlands have adapted to life in the rugged terrain. Diverging culturally and linguistically from their former countrymen, these Scots have enthusiastically embraced their new cultural identity. Really? Hang on a second. Whoa, look at that! It's a completely different culture group. I can't say I've ever seen that happen before. But hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this war, North Embry is getting wrecked. I probably didn't even have to call in uh, up or Ironside. Unless he's off doing something in his land over here. Which maybe he is, I can't quite tell. They do have... The enemy army it looks like they're standing over there. So it looks. So it's probably a good thing I called them in. We're about to take this. Pretty easily, actually. Anytime now, game. There we go, got it. We have a prisoner, and our war score is already looking pretty good. Both of these places are already being sieged, so I am going to go down here and siege this place. Because I don't want to overlap with them. We don't want to... Drager, my man, how's it going? I hope you're doing all right. Someone just lost a war. He lost against Ironside. Okay, that's cool. Uh 
Yeah, my, na my neighboring really lost the war. That's fine. Drager, it is good to see you, man. I mean, I'm going to be done streaming in a couple minutes here, but I'm glad I was able to see you at least for a little bit. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing all right today. Wife of Killer, you are absolutely right. Rip war, homie. Absolutely agreed. Oh, this is awful. Because our steward is atrocious at what he does, we now have, in this county here, minus 20% taxes and minus 50% development growth for a few years, which is abysmal. I cannot believe that. What? Why'd you guys stop sieging the, the capital? That was the whole reason I was sending you there. What are you doing? You idiots. Hang on, someone has someone else has to go take it now, I guess. Ugh. Oh, you had classes. Hey, dude, I understand. Definitely do your classes. That is priority. They're going to try to unsiege that, so I'm going to go whoop their butts. Uh, I could get a friend or I could get some prestige and some extra opinion. We don't need a friend for now. I'd love the prestige because we're a little low on prestige. Watch me whoop these guys' butts. I give priority to gaming, actually. Well, as much as I, as I can respect your decision, just don't make me guilty, please. Don't make me responsible for that. <laughs> hey! <laughs> we captured the enemy king, which means we automatically can win the war. Enforce the demands. I now am over my domain limit, but I have this place. Nice! Nice, easy war. Classes are... I play games well in classes. Classes are over. I'm not going to comment about you playing games during class, but I'm happy at least for you that classes are over. My my classes yesterday went very... Were, it was just a very long day. 8.30 a.m. to 9.45 p.m. with about three hours total of gap time between in that frame for just not classes. So it's... Very busy day, but now I don't have classes today. But I'm still going to be just as busy, because I'm going to have to edit this. I'm going to be editing a Quarantine SMP video. I'm going to I'm gonna be recording on the Quarantine SMP server. I have homework to do. It's going to be a blast. But <laughs> I actually am... Yeah, I am now going to be calling it. Let's just take a quick look at our prisoners. See if we can ransom anyone. These are all just weak hooks. There's no point. Editing takes time a lot. Yeah, I don't take. It doesn't take a lot of time to edit these for me because they're stream archives, so you don't have to put a lot of work into them. I mostly just put them in the editing software and render them with barely any change. Quarant Quarant Quarantine S&P videos, on the other hand, those take a while. Okay, we need to take we need to take a look at this real quick. Uh, development of four. All of our current places are better. And there are a lot of problems this place has, so I want to hand this off to someone real quick, and then we will end the stream. Uh, who do we want to hand this off to? Let's take a look at our vassals real quick. Why are these powerful vassals if they don't have any counties that they themselves own? I don't quite understand that. We only have four vassals, actually. How about we give it to this chap? Or... Who's actually good at what they do? Because I want to reward people who are good at what they do. Let's do our, let's, let's go our Spy Master, because he has 12 intrigues, so he's actually somewhat good at what he does, although our Marshal is also pretty decent. How would you like... How would you like the Earldom of Durham? Bam! We're no longer above our domain limit. We handed off our uh, we handed off something to our vassal, or we were supposed to. What? I did this though. I handed this off to someone. Why, Doncaster? Why? It's a barony. Is that causing problems? Why is that causing problems, of all things? Hang on a second, I have to figure this out. 
Because I should be able to hold one, two, three. Why is Doncaster all of a sudden now a problem? I don't understand why that would be. I have to figure this out real quick before I end the video. I know it's going to go a little longer. Or end the stream, I should say. I... Mm. Oh! Okay, I see. Since... I think he originally was in charge of the Barony of Doncaster. So, I need to hand that to someone else now. Okay, okay. Uh, that makes sense. You. You, actually. Let's do you. Uh, we'll give you the Barony of Doncaster. How about that? Oh, you can only hold one Barony. Uh, hang on. I'm sorry, I'm not used to having to work with Baronies. You. He must hold the Earldom of the West Riding to receive Barony of Doncaster. Oh, for goodness sakes, do I just need to give this to someone random? Let's find one of our sons and give it to him. How about that? You. Take this off of me. Thank you. Gee willikers, that was ridiculous. Okay, but we fixed our domain limit. We have improved our overall kingdom here. We're looking a little bigger, and that's good. Look at this. We're not as small of a blip on the map anymore, so I'll take that. Thank you guys for tuning in. Wife of Killer, thanks for stopping by. It was great to see you. Dreger, it was great to see you. Anyone else who I missed who didn't say anything in the chat? It was good seeing you guys. And for those of you who are watching on YouTube, bye! <laughs> for those of you who are watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it, I guess. <laughs> Until next time, guys, this is Bluebird Gamer signing off. God bless America.